Battling COVID-19 is an unprecedented global challenge. And if you have a smartphone, now there's a way for you to join the fight. To get our communities back up and running as quickly and safely as possible, local health authorities have smartphone apps to help with contact tracing. Contact tracing is one of the best ways to stop a virus from spreading. It takes thousands of disease investigators to alert anyone who's been in contact with someone who has tested positive. But even if disease investigators do their jobs perfectly, alerting the people a COVID patient doesn't know or can't remember is incredibly difficult. Smartphone apps that health authorities build can help investigators get the full picture much more quickly. But a contact tracing app works best when more people download it. And being asked to download an app without knowing how it will handle your personal information might cause people to worry about their privacy, and they may not feel safe participating. That's why engineers at Apple and Google have been working together to make public health technology that protects individual privacy so that people never have to choose between their privacy and the health and safety of their community. You're probably wondering what that means and how that all works, and we're going to walk you through it in a second, but first let's be really clear about a few things. First, Google and Apple are not making contact tracing apps, just the exposure notification system the apps use. Second, this system does not use location data. And third, Google and Apple can never see any of the information that goes into this system. Here's how that works. For every phone that's opted in, our technology disguises your identity by using encryption, generating a sequence of numbers that change about every 15 minutes. Then using Bluetooth, anytime your phone detects another phone close by that's also opted in, the two exchange those encrypted numbers. If in the future someone tests positive for COVID-19, they can add that positive result in their app. Any phones they had exchanged encrypted numbers with in the last 14 days will receive an early warning notification that they may have been exposed all while keeping everyone's identity private. Local health authorities can then instantly connect anyone at risk to testing and treatment. But it's up to all of us to help with contact tracing. Do your part and look for your local health authority app that uses this exposure notification system. The more people who participate, the sooner we can beat COVID-19 and get our communities back on their feet.